Okay, so this is part two of our uh, window uh, family. And so what we did in part one was we, we drew all the reference planes, got all the reference planes set up, got all the reference planes that we needed labeled. So at this point uh, in the, plan in the uh, family, all we have to do now is just draw the geometry in. And we're going to draw the geometry in based on these reference planes that we've created. All right, so we're working mostly in a plan view. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create that window sweep. All right, so that's the window sweep that goes around the outside here. All right, and to do that, we have that supplemental handout that uh, I gave out in class last week, and that is going to be basically the profile here. All right, so what the, how the sweep command works is basically you pick a a path. All right, and in our, this particular case, the path is going to be around the four sides of the window here. Then, um, this, then you pick a, then you create a profile. You draw the profile in, and then it sweeps that profile around all four edges. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that from my exterior view. I'm going to go to Create, and I'm going to go to Sweep, and, um, and I'm going to go to Pick Path. All right, so that's going to allow me to pick a series of, of 3D faces to uh, uh, pick that path. So I'm going to Pick Path. All right, Pick 3D Edges. I'm going to pick the 3D edges, basically, of this window. All right, I want to pick the jam first, though. And I'll, uh, and I'll explain why here in a second. So I pick the jam. It doesn't matter which side or which jam you pick, but you want to pick that. And so essentially what it does, when you pick that first face, or your first, first edge, it's going to give you this little uh, green dashed box here. And that green dashed box is basically, this is where you're going to create that profile. All right. So let's pick the other two edges here. All right, so I got all four edges of that window picked. And then I'm going to hit Finish. All right, so there's my profile here, and then this is basically where I'm going to create that. I'm sorry, this is my path here. This is where I'm going to create my profile. So to create the profile, then that's part two. I got to go to select profile. All right, if I had the profile loaded in already, I could pick it out of this category here, but I don't. So I'm going to have to go to edit profile to draw in one from scratch. All right, so edit profile allows me to draw it in from scratch. Yep. Question. Yeah, so I, I'm going to do it in my plan view. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let me do it in my plan view. So I'm going to edit profile, and then what I'm going to do is go to a plan view. So let's go to reference plane. And so there, here, now that I'm in the plan view, now I can draw my profile. But here I can tell that's the exterior side. Here's the interior side. Okay, so they go back to the handout here. And what it's telling me is that this uh, short end here is on the uh, exterior side. So I'm going to go three quarters of an inch and so on and so forth. Okay, so what I want to do is when I'm drawing this too, I want to actually pick my reference planes. So I want to actually lock it to my reference plane. So I'm going to go to pick lines. All right. And um I'm actually well, let me actually start off with the front face. Let me uh, let's just use the line command. I'm going to start at the little red dot because that's going to be my corner and then I'm going to go up 3 quarters of an inch. So that's 3 quarters of an inch. All right, then I'm going to go back. All right, and uh, and I'm just going to actually just draw a line here for a second. All right, I want to attach this half inch piece here. So the half inch piece here, I actually want to attach that to a reference plane. That's going to be basically the back of the frame of that window. So from our previous reference points, I know that this line coming across here, this reference plane, is the back of the is the back of the um, window, or the back of that frame. So I'm going to pick lines, all right. I'm going to pick that reference plane and lock it to it. So that means that that's basically that this this line is going to follow the back of that frame, all right. Then I use pick lines again, and I know it's a half an inch offset from there. So I go to 0.5 inches. All right, so I click there, and that's a half an inch between here and here. And then that, and I, I want to pick that last reference plane. I want to pick that uh, reference plane that's on the back of the wall here. So it's that reference plane here. So I'm going to use pick lines, pick that back reference plane, and then lock it to that reference plane there. All right, so what that's going to do is that it's going to hold the back edge of that that uh, window frame um, to the back face of that wall. All right, so pick the lines there. All right, so let's trim this a little bit. So trim, 
So trim there to there, and there to there, and there to there. All right, so then I just need that last line right through here. So I'm going to go to pick lines, pick that edge there, and lock it. All right, and then trim. All right, so there's my little 3D profile for my, um, or my sorry, 2D profile. All right, and it should match up with this guy here, so that 2D profile here. All right, so at that point, I've got a closed loop, and I can hit finish. All right, that finishes the profile, so that I've got my profile and I've got my path, and then I hit finish one more time, and it creates the geometry. Okay, so now at this point, we can then um, test it out. Let's test out the width and the height. So let me move this over. Go to four blue squares. All right, so the height, let's change that to five feet. Apply. Good. Everything stretches. That's good. Change the width to four feet. Hit apply. All right, everything stretches. Good. Okay, now let's try this offset thing. All right, change that to two inches. Hit apply. And notice then it shrunk the, the whole frame, you know, that whole edge there. So that's good. And so our frame, when we draw it in, it's going to fit in right in there, right inside that little pocket there. All right, so let me change this back to th uh, um, three quarters of an inch. So an inch, okay, and okay. All right, so back to kind of where we were. All right, so then now what I'm going to do is draw my frame, and I'm going to draw that in the elevation view on the exterior elevation side. So I'm going to go to my elevations exterior. All right. And then uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to, what I want to do is I want to align that um, frame. So I want to actually have put a three-quarter of an inch offset. That's that three-quarters of an inch from our, our frame that we drew here. So that's three-quarter of an inch. So what I want to do is I'm going to do an offset, offset those reference planes um, around the outside here, three-quarters of an inch, and then lock them. So I'm going to go to do Create reference plane, thick lines, three quarters of an inch offset, and go inside on each side there. Okay, so I offset a reference plane inside three quarters of an inch on each side, and then I'm just going to lock those. So I go to dimension, and then lock, dimension and lock, And lock. Okay, so I've locked all four of those uh, reference planes. All right, and now I can create that um, frame for the window. So the window frame. So to do that, I'm going to go to create, and I'm going to use an extrusion for that one. So I go to extrusion. All right, now I want to pick a reference plane. So I want to pick some place in depth um, to put it. Now we labeled that uh, that run reference plane called window inset. We call that window inset. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say set my work plane. All right, and I'm going to set the work plane to a reference plane that I drew, and there it is, window frame. We called that one window frame. All right, so I'm going to set it to window frame reference plane and say OK. All right, so now what we're doing is now we're working on a reference plane, and let me show you what the reference plane looks like. So that's it basically there. So we're working off of that reference plane there, um, which corresponds to this reference, this uh, work plane right here. So it's going to line up basically with our window inset uh, parameter. All right, so I go to exterior. Let me turn off my work plane. All right, so I'm going to go to create. Oops, I'm already in the create, sorry, extrusion. All right, pick lines, and I'm going to pick those reference planes I just created. So pick and lock to that inside reference plane. All right, let's trim it so that it's a closed loop. All right, so that's a closed loop. All right, so now um, our frame is, is two inches thick all the way around. So rather than create a, um, a, uh, a void extrusion, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the rectangle command and do an offset. So I'm going to do a two inch offset. So I go to rectangle, draw command, put a two inch offset. And I'm going to pick the outside. I'm just going to basically pick the two outside corners. So pick up this corner up here. 
and pick this corner down here, but I want to, um, first thing I want to do is actually hit the space bar to offset it so it's offsetting to the inside. All right, and then I pick that second corner down here. So what that does is it gives me a closed loop within a closed loop, which will then create a hole in the middle of that window, and the distance between here is two inches on each side. All right, and then I'm going to hit finish. All right, so there's my window frame. All right, so let's go to our floor plan. Let's take a look at it. All right, so our window frame is kind of sticking out front like that. So what I want to actually do is I want to actually align and lock this face of the window frame to that window frame, the back of the window frame reference plane that we created. So it's this one back here, the one that was two inches offset. So I'm going to go align, pick that back reference plane, and then pick the front face of that window frame, and then lock the two of them. All right, so what I did was, I'll do that one more time. All right, so I had that window frame this that 2D geometry that I just created. And I went to align and I picked that back reference plane. Here's at the back of the frame. Alright, and then I aligned that face to it and then locked it. Alright, so let's look at it in 3D again. Alright, so let's test this thing out. So um, we're going to do, let's ch ch test out the window frame. So let's change this to 3 inches. I'm sorry, the window inset, I'm going to change it to 3 inches. Alright, there you go. So then it basically um, pushed that window frame back 3 inches and then readjusted the that sash that we drew around the outside, that sweep that we did. Alright, then the last bit of geometry that we're going to create is that glass that goes inside there. So we're going to go back to our ele exterior elevation. And what I'm going to do is go to the Create tab and we're going to create an extrusion. Alright, we're going to change our work plane now to the center of the glass. So we created a reference plane called glass and that's going to serve as the center of our uh, of our glass here. So I'm going to go to set, pick a plane, oops oh, sorry, name plane, sorry, name plane, and we're looking for glass. There it is. There's our reference plane. Alright, so this is that one that's at the center of the uh, frame. And then all I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick those same reference planes the ones that are on the inside that are three quarters of an inch off the outside. So pick that one, lock it, pick it, lock it, pick that one, lock it, and pick that one and lock it. And then hit trim. All right, so it's a closed loop. Okay, on this one that we want to give our glass a thickness of, um, let's say, half an inch. Let's make that glass like a half an inch thick. So we're going to offset to the end. Uh, extrusion at the end is going to be 0.5 inches. And then this one's going to be negative 0.5 inches. Oops, that's going to make our glass, sorry, that's going to make our glass one inch, which is fine. We'll just do that. We'll go negative, we'll start at a negative half an inch, and we'll uh, end at a positive half an inch, and hit apply and then hit finish. Alright, so now we've got a piece of glass inside there. So there's the kind of edge of our glass right there. Alright, so let's test it out. Let's make sure that everything moves together. So I go to four blue squares. Let's change this window inset to uh, three quarters of an inch again. Alright, hit apply. Good. Alright, pull the glass, pull the frame forward. Alright, let's change our height back to four feet and our width back to three feet and then say okay good all right shrunk everything good all right let's go back to our plan view all right there's our glass a little thick um, and then our frame good and then here's that sash that we rotated around the outside edge okay then um, then the next thing I want to do is in the as per the handout is create those material parameters so let's go back out. So we got two material parameters, one that's for the glass and one for the sash. And we're going to include the window frame in that, that sash material there. So let's go back to our project file. So creating a wind, uh, material parameter is really easy. All you got to do is pick the object. So I'm going to pick that 3D sweep. And over here on the properties dialog box, I've got material. All right, And I'm going to pick this little um, button to the right of the uh, material parameter. So I click there. I'm going to say add parameter. 
Okay, so I add parameter and I'm going to call this, um, what was it, sash material? All right, and then say OK, and then OK. All right, so that applies the sash material to the, the to that sweep. Then let's pick the frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I went to so I picked the object, and then under the properties dialog box under material, you're gonna pick that white button right there. And then let's pick sash material since I've already got the parameter created. So I select sash material, and then hit OK. And now I've now that one the material for that frame is now set to the sash material. All right, to get that glass, I may have to hide a couple things here. So I'm going to hide the frame and the sash. And there's my glass. So there's my glass. I'm going to go to properties, material, slide over, and um, and pick this little white button here, and then say add a parameter, and we're going to call that glass material. All right, and say OK, and then OK. All right, and then I'm going to reset my temporary hide and isolate. All right, so now I've got per material parameters. Good. All right, and I may actually want to just put in some materials in there. Right now, when it says by category like this, that basically means that it doesn't have a, a material set. So let's go to glass material and pick the little, bu little box with the three dots in it. And I'm just going to find glass. Okay, and then let's go sash material. I'm going to pick the box with three dots in it. And let's go with wood. All right, so I don't have any wood loaded, so I have to go down here to load one in. All right, so I'm going to go down here. Oh, let's just pick a good wood here. Maple, that sounds good. All right, so let's pick maple. And I'm going to load it into the project by hitting this little up arrow. And then say OK. All right, and then OK gay again, and then let's go to shaded. All right, so the glass shows up. Now I got to make one real quick modification to that wood material there, maple. So go back to maple. All right, the reason why it's not showing up in shaded is that I just have to use I just have to check this little box here that, under graphics where it says use rendered appearance. Let me just check that box for maple, and so hit OK, and then OK. There, now it shows up as blue. Or, I'm sorry, it shows up as that beige color. All right, so then the last thing in the handout that it asks you to do is to create a family 24 by 48. All right, so to create that family, what I'm going to do, go back to project, go to four blue squares, all right, and then new. So I'm going to go to new family type there. All right, and we're going to create the family called 24 by 48. So I'm going to go 24 by 48. All right, and then hit OK. All right, so now I have a um, a type, 24 by 48. I've got all my materials created, and so that basically will finish your um, the window family.